rats. So what I'm what I'm talking what I'm thinking about is previously, ladies and gentlemen, we did we did solving equations that looked like this, right? Do you guys remember this? And when you had a variable on both sides, basically the process that I said was to solve for a variable, you got to get the variable to the same side so you can solve for it, right? Well, the same thing it kind of applies here. We got to get the variables to the same side, but there's a difference here. That, that type of equation was a linear equation. The variables only had a power of 1. Now we have a variable that has a power of 2 and to have a variable that has a power of 1. So the difference is when we get the variables on the same side, I'm always going to want my x squared to be positive, so I'm going to solve on, for the variables on the right side. Now my variables are not like terms, meaning I cannot combine them. right? One is squared, one is linear. You can't combine them like we did. In linear equations, they're all linear, so we combine them. Here, we can't combine them. So when we cannot combine them, we have more than one variable, we have to use factoring to, sol to help us solve. Well, to use factoring to help us solve, we have to apply the zero product property. So the main goal, like I did up here, is when you have a quadratic, always set your quadratic equal to zero. So basically, yes, you get your variables on the same side, right? And you want it to set equal to 0. Because now, when I go ahead and factor this, I'm just going to do this one in my head. Okay, When I go ahead and factor this now, based on the focus lesson that we did, what would we do now? We would set each of our factors zero. equal to 0. So we'd say x minus 8 equals 0, and x plus 1 equals 0. That is using the zero product property. Then we just go ahead and solve. So we'd say x equals 8 and x equals negative 1. Then we can write that as a solution set of 8, negative 1. OK? So on the back side of the page, you're doing the exact same work <laughs> 